Okay, good. What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Flawless K here, and I'm back with another video. Today, I am gonna be showing you all what's in my nursing bag. Just a side note for you guys, I carry everything of everything because you have to be prepared for anything. So this is my nursing bag. Just a disclaimer that I actually purchased this bag on a Facebook ad that I saw pop up um before i was even a nurse i was like omg this bag is perfect for me like i love it so much but you can purchase this bag on etsy as well and i will provide the link um in the description box below if you are interested in purchasing this bag it comes with your custom name i know my wife's kind of peeling off <laughs> but it comes with your name um whatever name you want and your credentials here you can put rn lvn um cna like they have all different little initial things that you can put here and i just love this bag this bag also came with a water bottle um because they were having like a promotion like um by the bag you get a free water bottle so i actually got a free water bottle so that's just a little bit about this bag um so let's go through it about this bag let's go back so you all can see the bag comes with two pockets where i one i keep my name badge just here when i get ready i can put it on um and i usually stick my water bottle in here as well in this front pocket, I have some things. Ignore the junk. This is my work schedule. We're not gonna worry about that. Um, I have this lotion here. I usually keep a lotion in my front scrubs pocket when I'm at work because when we're putting on no hand sanitizer, my hands get super dry. So I always keep some lotion in my bag to put on my hands. I also have some candy in here because my mouth gets dry throughout the day, especially we have to wear these face masks all the time. So my mouth gets super dry. So I just kind of pop a little candy in there, here and there. I also have some, um, what are these called? Throat loungers. When I was getting kind of, my throat was getting itchy in the past. So I would keep those in there. Then I just have some pins in here. Now this is, these are mostly the pins that I just decide to keep in my front um, pocket. So I just um, threw them in here after I got off of work. And I have some more lotion in here. Super, super, super important guys. I'm telling you, keep some lotion on you at all times. But that's pretty much what I got in here. It's just kind of like a little pocket that you can put whatever you want. Then we're gonna open the bag. Dun, 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 dun um so the first item i have in here is a little notebook i also carry this around with me in my front pocket or just um leave it up on the little nurses station desk this is just a little book of just important things to help me remember some things when i first started it was so much stuff that i had to learn and i could not remember everything and my preceptor she was like she didn't tell me nothing twice she always write it down write it down write it down because i'm not gonna tell you again write it down so i had to write everything down and if i asked her like oh how do i do this and she was like i told you to write it down and i'm like yeah okay i let me check my book you're right it's in here so just a little tip for new grads if you all have a lot to learn it's nice to keep a little book so you can remember some things um, the next thing that I have in here is this. I actually purchased this um, stethoscope holder from Amazon and I will also provide the link to this in the description box. At first, when I first started, I was just like throw my stethoscope in here. And then after a while, I was like, wow, like, sorry, ignore that. <laughs> after a while, I was like, wow, I probably actually should get like a stethoscope holder so i found this on amazon pink of course because that's my favorite color super duper handy um it also comes with a strap if you want to just but 
I'm gonna show you the inside of this. So inside of this, it comes like this. I keep my blood pressure cuff in here, which I don't have to utilize this on um, being in dialysis because the machines have their blood pressure cuffs, but I always like to keep it with me um, just in case. And my scissors are in here, surprisingly. I think I took them out, but I kept my like scissors in here. They have this other little pocket where you can keep wherever you want. I also have my pen light in here as well. And then I keep my stethoscope in here. Um, always put it in here after at the end of the day. Um, on my stethoscope, I don't know if you all can see that. I have a little jewelry piece that I bought from Amazon. And I'll also provide that in the description box below. So this is super, super handy, guys. I definitely recommend you all buy one of these. It helps protect your stethoscope, provides longevity keep things organized and i think it's just super awesome so i have some more little pins you could never have enough pins as a nurse like for real i lose pins all the time i be walk, coming home with more pins than i even i'm like where did i get this pin from so you can never have enough pins so i like and me i'm very color coordinated when it comes to my things so i like to keep different colors so i just have a bunch of pins um speaking of pins i have so many pins and stuff i bought i also purchased this from amazon this little pencil holder and it comes with like this little zipper thing where you can hold your pins oh i put my tape in here i thought i had my tape in there but but just i put my tape in here and all my colorful pins because at first when i first like started as a nurse i would just like have a bunch of pins in here and just be digging and i felt like let me just buy a pencil bag this would be like help a lot more i mean although i still do have pins thrown in here and in the bag as well but i really like this this was a nice little purchase so you can go in here and i get to choose um what i want i keep sharpies with me different color pens highlighters as well because if you see my schedule of patients, everything's highlighted and color coordinated. I also had this book in here as well, which now that I think about it, like I had purchased this book to be like my information. Like if I didn't remember something, I could turn to this book, um, which I did, was using at first. I do have some information in here like the potassiums and stuff but i don't use this book as much so but i still keep it with me either way what else do i have in here Did, honestly a bunch of junk you guys i got sticky notes in here um from when we had to shut down and we people were having curfew and stuff so i needed a letter from my job to say i'm nurse i have to work but i also have my planner in here which has been collecting some dust because i haven't even been using it like that but i usually use my phone but i have my planner in here where i would keep up with like when i have work as you all can see when i have work um little things bills whatever so if i was at work i'm like oh when do i have to go to work i just look at my planner and be like oh, i don't have work or oh i'm off this day or i have a vacation coming up so i really like this as well super duper helpful and then i have two folders in here i didn't even know that but let me see Okay, so I had two folders in here that I completely forgot I had. But this folder here uh, <clears throat> has my company name on it. But this folder here has like a study guide that I had when I first started and I was learning all about like dialysis and things like that. So I like to keep that in here and like policies and procedures. So when I'm like, oh man, like what's the BFR rate supposed to be when I'm returning the blood or I don't remember how to do the post BUN. I just can just open up my folder and flick through my study guide that they gave me 
and I always carry it with me. This was just an extra folder that I had that has my resume in it actually. Which I'm surprised. I didn't know I had that with me. Um other than that. That's mostly all that I have in my bag, you guys. Um, so, <clears throat> as a nurse, I know that we all kind of work in different fields. So we all have to carry important things and kind of more related to your field. But at the same time, the most important things that I do recommend is that you always have your pins. It's super, super important. Always carry your lotion. Always carry your hand sanitizer with you, which I do have a mini hand sanitizer. I also have some band-aids in here. Oh, here's my hand sanitizer. Boop, hand sanitizer, band-aids, um, lotion, pins. These are super, super important to carry around. I also have some like feminine stuff in here, but we're not gonna show that. Um, whiteout is super important that I found to have. Um, have a pencil case. Try to keep things organized as much as possible. I definitely recommend that you get the um, stethoscope case. It kind of helps protect your stethoscope so it won't get damaged. Um, try to keep little study tips and tools for you. If you're a more advanced nurse, then you may not really need um, some of the like little books, like handy dandy stuff. But I think it's still cool and still important to have, no matter how many years of nursing, because you may forget something and be like, oh, I have this little book I can turn to. So, I'll, um, like I said, all the little things that I showed in here, I will provide in the description box below. If you have any other things that you want me to um, show you, then just comment down below. Tell me what are some things that you didn't see in my nursing bag that you carry in your nursing bag or things that you like or any um, questions that you may have for me. And I will get to you in the comments. Don't forget to like this video. Give this a big, big thumbs up if you love this video. And if you want to see more videos from your girl, Flawless K. So I will catch you guys in another video. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.